it's Maria from designbymaria.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the temple and priesthood preparation meeting. So first, I'm going to share some ideas from my friend Stacy, and then next from my sister Cindy, and then last, I'll share some ideas from when I was in a primary presidency. I hope you guys find these helpful. For our temple priesthood preview, we have it at the end of the year, and we invite the families with their kids that are moving on, graduating, and we um, ask the young women's leader that's going to be their young women's president, she would come and she'd talk about the temple and the steps to kind of get to the temple and what they will be doing because now they're going to be able to do direct baptisms for the dead. And then we'd ask the young men's leader to come and talk about priesthood and how priesthood is for the boys and the girls. We made sure that they talked about that. And um, then we had the bishopric conduct and the bishop at the end said a few comments and then I would say a few comments and then that was it. So for our temple and priesthood preview, we had one of our counselors be over that, and they contacted about a month before. They texted out to everybody to save the date so that they knew about that. And then about a week before, they actually gave invitations to each of the kids and invited the kids and their parents to it. And then sent a reminder out that same day to let them know the day of like, hey, it's tonight to try to get more attendance. And then for the program, we had the member of the bishopric that was over the primary conduct. And we had the bishop talk about what the temple recommend interview would be like to try to get them prepared for that so they wouldn't be scared. And then also we had the leaders um, in the youngest, a young men's group and the youngest young women's group. We invited them, had one of them give a prayer, and then the other one actually gave a talk. And we just followed the guidelines in the handbook of what to talk about. And the counselor that was over just texted out and said, hey, will you focus your talk on this? And it, the leader's talks, the men's was talking about the priesthood and how like the women could support the priesthood and what the young men could do to prepare for the priesthood, and then we had the president of that youngest young men's group talk about the blessings they've received and kind of some of their perspectives on passing the sacrament. And it was really, really cute this year. The boy that talked said, I just want everybody to know that it's okay if you make a mistake when you pass the sacrament. Because I was really, really, really scared the first time I did it, and I was worried I was going to make a mistake, and so I didn't want to do it but nobody cares and we all help each other out. And I thought that was really cool because my son was also nervous about that. So it was great that he said that. And then we had the young women's um, counselor talk about preparing for the temple and the young women's president, the, the youth president talk about her experience with going to the temple for the first time. And so that was, that was really sweet just to hear her little testimony of that. A bishopric member gave closing remarks and it was really cool. He brought like different shoes and had, it was very interactive with the kids and said, hey, what are these shoes do for these shoes? And then he brought some temple slippers and talked about how special those shoes are and how different the temple is than all these other shoes that we wear and related it to that, to them. and. It was just, it was a really great experience. The spirit was really strong. And then um, I did like a little refreshment table with like cupcakes and just little scriptures that talked to them about standing in holy places and just to reiterate on their way out the importance of the temple. Make sure to consult the handbook. This is really important because when I was a primary president, we didn't even have a temple and priesthood preparation meeting. We actually just did like, a priesthood preview for the boys. I had my counselor in charge of this and she did such a great job. And what I think was great about how she did this was she did two things that were special. She took the time to do a little bit of decorating. I'm not saying you have to like go all out major cutesy or anything like that, but she had just put some little scouting decorations. I decided to design a few party printable sets, especially for temple and priesthood preparation meetings. So if you wanna make things a little bit more special, you could just print out a banner or you could do a whole bunch of decorations if you have time to do that. But remember, it doesn't have to be over the top. Um, the other thing that my counselor did that I felt like made the meeting special 
was she had a dessert. So she made these yummy brownies and then she had sprinkled marshmallows on top. So just like a box of brownie mix, she sprinkled marshmallows on top and then she took the store-bought chocolate frosting that you can buy and she softened it in the microwave. I think it was just like 30 seconds enough so it kind of became liquidy and she drizzled that on top of the marshmallows and then she sprinkled M&Ms on top of that. So it was just kind of a special dessert that the boys were just so excited to try and it was kind of sitting out at the back of the room. You do not have to do a dessert or anything like that, but I do think if you can take time to do a couple of special things, whether it be a cute decoration, a special dessert, a special talk, um, a special guest, something to help the kids really feel like they are special and that this is a special event for them. I think they will remember feeling important and just getting excited to go into young men and young women's and go to the temple. So I hope that these ideas are helpful for you and your primaries. If you have other ideas, please leave them in the comments and let's help each other out. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.